Hello friends, Sam here. So today what we are going to talk about that there are different types of APIs in uh, MuleSoft that you develop like system API you develop, process API you develop and experience API you develop. Now first thing we have to understand these APIs well and whenever we develop any simple project even in AnyPoint Studio or AnyPoint platform there we should able to recognize where is these different types of APIs are there. Otherwise as a theory we understand these three types of APIs and we just uh, start developing our projects you know and we cannot correlate both of them. So the purpose of this video is that correlation my dear friends. Okay, so let's get started. Firstly, understanding of these three kinds of APIs. Now look at this diagram. This diagram is taken from uh, blogs.mulesoft.com. Thanks to them for this diagram. Very beautiful diagram. So if you look at this, you can see that the bottom most layer in your uh, set of MuleSoft project is system APIs. Okay, so these are the integration projects which you develop in MuleSoft which are directly interacting with certain system. For example, it is interacting with FedEx system. Okay, it is interacting with the database directly or it is interacting with the SAP system, Salesforce system and so on. Maybe some shopping portals and all it is interacting with. So these all projects are called as system APIs. That's what are system APIs. Process APIs that includes transformation logic. So for example, uh, suppose for certain uh, workflow or certain process, let's say order processing process, let's say order processing process we are talking about where it is required that SAP system need to talk to this Salesforce. Okay, and that need to talk to with order management system. So how these system can talk to each other? So for that we develop some projects which are called as process APIs. So whatever this second layer is there, that is nothing but process APIs. So it takes the data from source system, transform that and give it to the destination system. So taking from the source system is system API. Giving to the destination system is also system API. And that transformation is nothing but process API, my dear friends. Okay, then what are, what is the meaning of experience API? Experience API deal with experience of end user. Let's say end user is, uh, uh, invoking your project by means of mobile app so that uh, project which takes care of that uh, Android system interaction and all that is called as mobile API and suppose user is interacting uh, with your system through website so the project which is dealing with that website interface that is called as web app API so these kind of projects which you are developing which are, which are related to experience of the end user, user interface that are called as experience API. So I hope it is clear for you now. What do you mean by system API? What do you mean by process API? What do you mean by experience API? Okay, so now whenever we develop any simple project, how we can identify all these APIs over there? Let me open my simple project which I developed in AnyPoint Studio. Okay, so let's have a look on that. Now, if you look at this project, what it is doing, it is accepting the HTTP request, maybe from browser or from Postman. Then it is fetching accounts data. You can see that name, industry, type that are fetched from account, all records will be fetched. It is transforming that to the JSON. Okay, and that JSON will be uh, generated as a file and finally it will give the message to the uh, postman or browser that thanks for using my app. In case if there is any error in this flow, then we do have a flow level handler 
what it is doing it is just putting the message in the payload that there is an error in the app okay that's what now in this project whenever i make some mistakes in salesforce query i was using the uh, old password and all in that case i got the error it could not connect to the salesforce with the old expired password so at that time what message i got look at that so this is the first run which i have done okay so i already executed that whenever there was a problem in the credentials given in the salesforce connector so it has given me there is an error in app okay that's what is the message i have received i am the end user and i got this particular message okay so now if you look at this particular project if it is working successfully let me show you another run so it has given me the uh, output saying that thanks for using my app and it has generated the json file out of the salesforce data successfully now if you look at this project it's a simple project which is fetching the salesforce data and generating json out of that finally it is giving thanks for using my app if it if it is successful if there is an error it is saying there is some error in the app that's what is the working of this application now where is system api and process api and experience api in this project let us talk about that now this listener is taking the request so how i execute this particular project this project is already deployed now and what i do i just open maybe another tab and what i do let me just take it at the start and i will say localhost 9001 so end user is actually sending the request so whatever my listener is there that is used to accept the input from the user input from the user so it is working with this user interface which is just a browser so http listener we can call it as my experience api okay then whatever my final set payload is there this last set payload it is formulating the response to the end user so that you can call it as experience api of course that is just a one processor but that part is experience api logic in my error handler i am just putting a message that there is some error in your app that is also experience api so my listener which is taking care of the user interface my set payload which is taking care of the response to the end user and my error handler which is also taking care of the response to the end user in case of error this all are experience apis okay these are dealing with user experience right then my salesforce query this is salesforce connector which actually connects to the salesforce and fetching the data so if you carefully look at this diagram it comes under system api okay that is coming under system api right that is what is system api so this salesforce connector is system api now transform message it is converting the salesforce data into json so this is actually your process api so if you look at the diagram transformation logic will be inside process api so your uh, transform message that logic is nothing but process api now write file write file file write that particular processor it's actually writing the data to the outside file system that is also system api okay so i reiterate your listener your last set payload and your error handler these all indicating experience api your salesforce connector your file write that are indicating system api and your transform message is indicating process apis so that's how you can understand types of apis in your project so maybe in one project you can implement all the type of api or sometime you uh, develop now this is a small project that's why we do have mixture up all of them but ideally we will have a separate system apis separate process apis and separate experience apis in the organization that's what is 
uh, that's what is nothing but API led development in the organization. Okay, so I hope it is clear for you that what are the types of this API and even if you are developing simple project in uh, your MuleSoft, then you should able to recognize these all APIs in your projects. Okay, I hope this is useful for you friends. Now, uh, I do publish such kind of content regularly on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. If you do not want to miss that content, I'm providing my connection details in the description. Just connect with me on all my social media. Another thing, recently I started video series on, uh, on uh, Tipco, MuleSoft and Salesforce. And the idea is giving one valuable power pack video right to your WhatsApp once in a week. Okay, so if you want to register for that video series, just the registration link I'm providing in the uh, description box. Okay, and all my contact details are already there. Feel free to get in touch with me if you need any help anywhere, friends. Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video, friends. Thank you and bye-bye.